Hello everyone, my name is Mrs. Samora and I will be teaching seventh grade math this year. Um, just a little bit about me. Um, my, this is going to be my first year at Power Technical. Um, prior to going back to school to be a teacher, I served in the military, in the Army specifically, and I am married with four children. Uh, some of my classroom expectations. Um, one, I expect all students to follow the PTEC policies. Um, these should not be new to anybody, uh, any of the seventh graders, um, as they most of them were here last year. So we'll still be following those rules. Um, some of my own rules or expectations for class is that we are prepared for class every day, whether in class or remotely. Um, we are going to be focused and ready to learn every day when we log on or when we show up. Um, and then we're going to stick to deadlines. Uh, PTEC has a new late policy this year, which will be in the student handbook, and um, we will be adhering to that policy. Uh, so for grading for math, um, we tests are gonna be 60% of um, the students' overall grades. So uh, homework will be 15%. The final exam, so a couple of those a year, um, will be 15%, and then employability, 10%. And we'll look into what that's gonna look like. Uh, for homework, it's worth 15% of your student's overall grade. This includes all math homework assignments. Um, a lot of it will start in class, um, just to, so we can make sure that we're all on the right track. And then we're also going to be doing math journals, which um, I'll explain more. Uh, with students and then it'll be also in the syllabus um, but we're going to be incorporating some writing into math and um, just to help students get a better understanding of why they're coming up with the answers they're coming up it looks different when you actually write it all out um, but here is also PTEC's late homework policy one day late it's going to be 25 percent off the overall grade two days late it'll be 50 percent off and then three days late, it's an automatic zero. And this is going to be um, days when they are required to be in class. So it won't necessarily be one day is the next day. Um, it'll be the next um, assigned day that they are, uh, that their cohort will be in the classroom. Um, employability is gonna be worth 10% of your, over, of your students overall grade. Uh, it's gonna be graded out of 150 points per week. So I'm gonna be grading on five things. Um, they're going to get 30 points um, throughout the week for preparedness. They'll get 30, per, um, 30 points per week for respect to their classmates and to the teachers and other staff members that may be uh, in the area. 30% on effort. Um, I expect students, I know that a lot of students will say that they are not math people, um, but it all comes down to effort. So we're going to help work past that and um, show that everybody can be a math person. Um, 30 points for following procedures, so that's you're in uniform, you're following the class rules, you're following PTEC rules. And then 30 points for timeliness and participation. So not just your effort, but um, how often you participate and if you're being an active participant in the classroom or remotely. Um, and then you're showing up on time every day. So late work, um, students are gonna be required to um, complete a late work resolution form. Um, it'll be attached to the syllabus, so you'll see what that looks like. Um, anytime a student is going to be submitting work late, it just asks them to um, explain why it's going to be late and then a plan for why or for how that won't happen again in the future. Um, and this is just to make sure that we're not constantly letting people have late, that there's a reason for it. So I am always available via email. Um, my email is right there on the screen, patricia.samora at jamesirwin.org. I look forward to um, getting to know all of you and your students this year. And please let me know if you have any concerns. Thanks so much.